What's up my friends, hope you've been well. I am back with another movie review and another new background. So you might have noticed that I've been experimenting a bit with the green screen and I'd love to know your thoughts about it. So hop on down in the comments and let me know how do you feel about this new background? Does, does it work for you? Is it a bit cleaner? I'd love to know. So it's been a wee bit long, but I finally watched Train Spotting last week. This is a comedy drama set in Scotland. It's directed by Danny Boyle. He of course was the director of Slumdog Millionaire. He won an Oscar for that movie, but this is one of his earlier movies, and I think Train Spotting is another one of his fantastic films. I have to commend the cast and crew of Train Spotting for having the courage to make a move about a difficult subject matter, and that is drug addiction. A lot of the characters in this movie are stumbling through adult life addicted to heroin. And somehow Danny Boyle manages to show us the ugliness, the hopelessness, and the horrors that come with drug addiction. But at the same time, he makes a fast-paced, funny movie with a very frequent, vibrant energy about it. He takes this opportunity to make some social commentary on not just drug addiction, but also themes such as morality, independence, friendship, as well as the economy. He does this with a great script, great characters, great cinematography, and some really, really cool music. It means a lot when you can make a thoroughly engaging movie such as this on a relatively small budget. And in addition to the directing, it really is the writing and the characters that drive this movie. The editing is solid and quick and it keeps the pace going and going, whereas the screenplay by John Hodge has this incredibly intoxicated eloquence to it. And despite being aimless addicts, most of the characters in this film have such strong personalities, it just makes them stand out and you remember these characters. You can tell they did not hold their punches in showing the audience the things that they do and some of the very unpleasant things that they have to experience. The cinematography in this movie is unique and very creative. I was astounded at how they achieved some of the shots and when a film can make you think, how did they do that? Then you kind of know that you have a winner here. The greatest challenge I faced in this movie was actually trying to understand what everybody was saying through their Scottish accents. I admit I had to turn the subtitles on in order to know what they were saying, but that didn't really take away my enjoyment of the film one bit. If you are above 18 and you want to see an original story filled with lots of crazy stuff happening, some really shocking moments and some really funny ones as well, then I thoroughly recommend that you watch Train Spotting. Train Spotting gets an 8.3 out of 10 from me. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. If you like it and want to see more, click the subscribe button below and I will be back next week with a little something nice for you guys. Until the next time, have a great week ahead. Maximum hype and peace out.